You're watching Terrier Vision. Welcome into Floyd Casey Stadium here in Waco, Texas, where earlier tonight the Wofford Terriers opened the 2013 football season, taking on the Baylor Bears out of the Big 12 Conference. Here are your highlights. Two receivers left, one to the right. Harp is a wing to the left. Single back, sidecar left alongside Lawson. Man in motion near side. And again, it's Donovan Johnson. Good yards as he crosses the 45. First down carry to the 50. Donovan Johnson into Baylor territory to the 49. Lawson out out of the gun, two receivers left, a wing left, one goes wide to the right. He's going to run the option to the left. Lawson pitches away. Donovan Johnson, room on the corner. First down, 45 to the 40. He has run out of bounds at the bare 39-yard line. Two receivers right, one left. Lawson out of the gun with two backs. Baylor, four down linemen. Fake of the dive, pitch near corner, and a run to the 35 by Will Gay. He is sandwiched down at the 34-yard line. 7.50 to play first quarter, 7-0 Baylor. Terriers last year on fourth down, 62%, second best in the league. Fourth and six from the 34. Fake of the dive, Lawson running the option right. Forget about it, loses one yard. Baylor football on downs. Saquon Stanley has taken over. Saquon did not play last year due to a redshirt injury. Now Petty trying to throw a flat pass to the far side. Has it batted down by linebacker Travis Thomas. It'll be second down and four. And Seastrunk again gets the handoff. And this time the Terriers get into the backfield. And Mike McCrimmon spins him down for a two-yard loss back at the 46. Weimer, of course, under center on third down. Man in motion near side, and Weimer will fake the dive. Pitches far corner, first down. As the carry out across the 35 to the 40 is made by Octavius Harden. First and 10 Terriers from their 40. Wing bone again. Man in motion near side will get the toss. Looking to mate right corner. Raymond Smith has good yards. 45 to the 50. He is stacked up there. He'll make the Baylor 49-yard line. And that'll bring the first quarter to a close here in Waco. First and 10, Baylor at the Terrier 48. Two receivers to the right. Bryce Petty, play action, being chased out of the pocket. CNO gets a hold of him as Petty tries to throw the football. It comes flying out of his hand, rolls out of bounds far sideline as CNO jumped on his back. And the question is, is that a fumble or Intention is it an Brown. incomplete pass? Uh -huh. Number 14 of the offense. The ball will be placed at the spot of the foul. Lost it down, so it'll be second down. Wide outs either side for Petty out of the gun. And this time out of play action. He wants to throw ball, knocked out of his hands, loose on the turf. It is free at the 35, and the Terriers have come out of there with it. First down, Wofford. Alvin Ciano covers the football, and it was Tarek Odom to knock it loose. A turnover. Second and 10 from the 37. Petty, flat pass, far side, taken at the numbers at the 40, and then the receiver is immediately stopped for a short gain by Chris Armfield. First half complete, and the Terriers will go to the locker room and try to figure some things out. Trips to the right, a single man to the left. Ball on the left hash mark, single back alongside James Lawson. Handoff, big hole, and a big run. Donovan Johnson, 30, near sideline, 40. He's on his feet to the 45, run out of bounds into the Bears bench at the 50-yard line. And again, James Lawson out of the gun with two backs, and he will give it away. Big hold, Johnny Martin. Left side, slanting toward the sideline, 35-30. Johnny Martin out of bounds at the Baylor 25. So the Terriers down 38 to nothing with 12 minutes playing in the third quarter. Now first and 10 at the Baylor 25. Is this the deepest penetration of the night? It is. Two receivers right, one to the left. Quarterback running the option left. Lawson makes himself skinny, cuts plants upfield, makes the 20. He is down at the 19-yard line. Wing right, two receivers wide right, one to the left. Out of the gun, Lawson. And he hands it away. First down run. Donovan Johnson slanting left to the 15. He is slung down at the 10-yard line. He got seven more. The snapper is Michael Comer. The holder is Paul Inclan. And Casey Redfern will set up for a 23-yard field goal from just inside the right half. Ash mark. Good snap, spot down, kick on the way, and Redfern has it. The Terriers are on the board for the first time tonight. And second and 12 from the 42. Play action for Russell. Sits back in the pocket, chased out of the pocket by Darius Burton, and now he's going to be dropped for a sack as Kevin Thomas runs him down at the far side. 
First down and 15 for Baylor at the Terrier 45. Russell with a back next to him to his left out of the gun. Handoff and Linwood this time won't get much. Terriers do a good job to penetrate and Linwood loses a yard. Tim Thomas, nice job of penetration there. Yep. The Terriers with a tough start to the 2013 season here in Waco. Your final score tonight here from Floyd Casey Stadium. The Baylor University Bears 69 and the Wofford College Terriers 3. Coach, you ran into a high-powered offense tonight. Buzzsaw. Uh, they were all they were, uh, you might say, cut out to uh, be. Uh, very explosive, uh, great skill positions, big offensive line, and, uh, and we really struggled trying to stop their scheme. Uh, Part of the problem, I think, was offensively, we just didn't play very well. Uh, we, we just couldn't get anything going. Gave them too many opportunities to, uh, to work against us. Uh, I think if we, we had uh, been able to move the football and score some points and, and keep it close, uh, you give your defense a better shot. I, I'm not sure what the number of plays as far as offense and defense, but uh, they played a lot. And, uh, and the type of offense that uh, Baylor runs, uh, boy, they grind you. They, they, don't, they don't allow you to take a breath. And uh, I, I, I thought our guys, you know, they, they fought hard. Uh, we've got to do a better job. I've got to do a better job of coaching. I, that, that's what it comes down to. Didn't have them ready for uh, what they were uh, to see here, and, uh, and it showed. And, uh, you know, I, I told him, I said, hey, I apologize, but uh, I'll do my best this week to get you ready for the Citadel. Any idea without looking at the film what wasn't working for the offense? What was? Wasn't. Oh, um, gosh. Name it. Uh, you know, we were, you know, uh, we had issues with blocking. We had issues with uh, pass protection. We had issues with... Um, Routes being run, getting off of uh, DBs. Uh, you know, we we had a multitude of issues. Uh, we uh, we got to go back to the drawing board and uh, and find out exactly what we can do and uh, and try to refine our skills and uh, and help ourselves. All right, you get the Citadel next week to start right. conference play, right. so not much time to dwell on this thing. No, no, no. Um, you better put this into bed. This was like a nightmare, and uh, we, we've got to get on to the next one. The next one is really important. It's the Citadel. It's the first conference game, and uh, and we, you know, we, we got to make sure we stop feeling sorry for ourselves, and we get to work. We put this in behind us and, and get on with the next one. So the Terriers will have to put this one behind them quickly, starting the season at 0-1. Next Saturday, they open conference play at Johnson Haygood Stadium in Charleston as they take on the Citadel Bulldogs, a team Wofford has not lost to since 1998. That'll be a 6 o'clock kickoff, 5.30, on the Wofford IMG Sports Network. I'm Mark Hauser. Thanks for watching Terrier Vision.